Hi, I'm Kate Naito. I'm a dog behavior consultant and dog trainer. And today, Margaret and I are going to show you how to teach your dog to trim his own front nails. This kind of nail trim is essentially a paw target that we shape into a scratching motion on sandpaper. For this activity, you're going to need sandpaper. I tend to go with a finer grain so that my dog doesn't scratch off too much of the nail at once. You also use a lot of small training treats or if you can get away with it, dry food. Have a strong piece of cardboard. I use something shoebox sized because I have small dogs, but you might need something bigger. And also let's have some tape or some glue so that when you're ready, you can stick the uh, sandpaper onto the cardboard. So this clip is a throwback to when I first taught Margaret a paw target. I put a treat behind a post-it. She whacks the post-it because she wants the treat. And as soon as her paw makes contact with the post-it, I slip the post-it away and she gets the treat. So instead of a post-it, you can just go straight to sandpaper. You can have your treats. You can have a little piece of sandpaper. And then you're going to put the treats behind the sandpaper. And when your dog hits it, pow, pow, good dog. Here's your treats. So here again, slap it, slap it, slap it, and here's your treats. And you're going to repeat that until your dog gets the hint that whenever they see this particular object, the sandpaper, they're supposed to slap it. You'll notice that I don't have a cue yet to hit the sandpaper. All I'm doing is when she does hit it with her paw, I immediately mark yes, and she gets a food reward. Yes. Step two is pretty similar to step one, except that we're going to remove the treat from behind the sandpaper. Yes. So Margaret hits the sandpaper, then I reach for a treat, I toss it away, so then she has to walk back to me. She gets a little momentum for the next rep. Yes. Depending on the grain of the sandpaper and your dog's enthusiasm for scratching, you're gonna have to be careful that you don't let your dog over scratch and potentially start bleeding. So here's my zero budget sandpaper on cardboard crafts endeavor. I just found this stuff in the garage. Ready? Yeah. Because your dog already knows what the sandpaper means, they're going to automatically hit it, even though it's now got the backing. Yeah. In the beginning, Margaret was not scratching the sandpaper this vigorously. However, when she did scratch it more enthusiastically, I would give her a much bigger reward called a jackpot. And that's how we eventually shaped it into a very enthusiastic two paw scratch. Ready? Scratch it. Yeah. I only add the scratch it cue after I know she is going to do it exactly the way I want her to. Scratch it. If you'd like to learn more uses for Paw Target, plus other really cool sports, games, and tricks to teach manners, check out Play Your Way to Good Manners. Also check out my book Brooklyn Manners, which discusses urban and suburban dog issues and how to resolve them.